Eknath Shinde in his latest tweet has hailed the Supreme Court order. Shinde says this is a victory of Bala Sahib's Hindutva and teachings of Sena leader Anand Dige. Meanwhile, we've got the inside scoop on the Shinde Sena's next plan of action. The Shinde camp is likely to approach the governor of Maharashtra to withdraw support from the Mahavikas Aghadi government. Remember, the Shiv Sena has been split wide open and now the Shinde Sena considers itself to be a fully functional political unit that can withdraw support from the Mahavikas Aghadi. The Shinde Sena is likely to push for a no-trust vote against the Udhav government and likely to claim that they are the original Shiv Sena. The original, the real Shiv Sena wins is a hashtag that Eknath Shinde is trying to trend on social media and he's also now looking to claim that he leads the original Shiv Sena group in the Legislative Assembly as well. Let's go straight across to India today's frontline reporters on this big developing story. Vidya is in Mumbai, Polony is in Guwahati where the rebel base is situated and from where Eknath Shinde has launched this entire attack. Polomi, to you first. Eknath Shinde looking at the Supreme Court, uh, you know, order today and basically interpreting it as a victory and saying the real Shiv Sena wins. But coming down to what his plan of action is, withdrawing support to the Mahavikasa Gadi appears to be one of those plans of action, even though the next time things happen in court will be July the 11th. What is the next step in that case, Polony? Well, Shiv, this was always his plan of action. In fact, this morning itself, uh, via the sources uh, that we have inside the camp, we had reported that as soon as the Supreme Court order comes in, the camp will, in fact, uh, approach uh, the governor. Their plan was to get a stay, a stay on the disqualification proceedings, because at at the end of the day, even if they forced a floor test and if they stood disqualified, 16 of them stood disqualified, that would bring their numbers down and it would completely, you know, topple the number game altogether. All there would have this entire effort to bring as many MLAs into the fold uh, here at Hotel Radisson Blue would have been completely, uh, would have com completely gone to waste. So now that they've got that stay, it's status quo, no action can be taken vis-a-vis -vis those disqualification proceedings till the 11th of uh, July. What they're likely to do is to approach the governor and withdraw support to the Mahavikas Sakhari government, compelling the governor to call for a floor, floor test uh, in the assembly, in which case uh, they will of course uh, hope that uh, you know uh, the Udhav Thakre faction will not be able uh, to muster together the numbers and will fall eventually which uh, will then compel for the formation of a new government in the sense if there is a possibility of parties coming forward, which would then be this faction plus the BJP that would put together the numbers, approach the governor, take claim to form the new government in Maharashtra for the next two and a half years before the next elections. The only spanner in the works could be the possibility where the Supreme Court has kept a window yeah. open for the Udav Thakre faction to approach the court if in case a floor test is forced. Hmm. But hmm. it has not stayed the possibility of a floor test being called. So the governor can still call a floor test but these guys uh, from the Udav Thakre camp could possibly approach the court saying what's going on? Why has a floor test been called yeah. while we've been stopped from acting till the 11th of July, how is this happening? So they can approach the court, but the governor can still call for a floor test. Right, and, and that's the reason why Eknath Shinde wants to approach the governor with his numbers and maybe force that floor test, which Udhav Thakre's, uh, uh, you know, uh, Sena does not want at this point. Uh, Vidya, uh, 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 Eknath Shinde saying real Shiv Sena wins... He's seeing it as a victory, you know, relief from the Supreme Court. He's seeing it, this as a validation of his rebellion. What, is, what are you hearing from the Udhav, Udhav camp? Uh, well, Shiv, I'm actually outside Matoshri, yeah. the residence of Uddhav Thakre. He's right inside, though his son Aditya Thakre has been going to various meetings and, uh, you know, holding various meetings with uh, the uh, party rank uh, holders or, uh, for uh, that matter, the general public as well. But right here, in spite of what Kesarkar was telling Rajdeep that, you know, they want the, M the MBA to be, uh, you know, uh, be broken out. They did not want the Shiv Sena to be part of uh, the NC 
PDP uh, Congress uh, coalition. In spite of all that they, they have been requesting right now at this very moment, there is a meeting between NCP leaders and the Shiv Sena. Uddhav Thakre is actually going to happen. Dilip Alse Patil, the Home Minister, also part of NCP, is already inside. He is at the residence of Uddhav Thakre. The meeting is being held while senior other leaders of the NCP Two will be reaching here in some time. So certainly as much as the, you know, the re uh, people who have rebelled against Uthav Thakri really want the Shiv Sena to distance themselves from the NCP, it is as much more that we see that Uthav Thakri has actually been holding on to them, say, making assurances to them that the coalition will not break. Okay, very interesting. So, yeah, you know, the, uh, the, the final move appears to be afoot as far as Eknath Shinde is concerned, even though he's still camping. He's still camping in Guwahati. It's been five days now. Today happens to be the sixth day. Uh, tomorrow will be one week since this entire, uh, you know, this entire rebellion actually began with India Today's news break. Stay with me, Polami and Vidya.